What are you going to do when you've got a situation in a relationship where being the way that you are is not working, maybe a person wants you to change, or maybe you can see that changing would make this relationship work better, and at the same time, if I change myself for this person, then I'm not really being true to who I am. So, I'm going to say the answer is change for yourself, not others. But, 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 but how does that work if you're changing for yourself and who you're being into what you want, but that's not working for the relationship? How does that work? Well, I'm going to tell you. It's not confusing once you understand it, but before I tell you, I want to also tell you, if you're new here, subscribe, man. I've got so many videos, hundreds and new ones coming out every week to help you create material success and spiritual depth. For me, foundation is happiness. Boom, what up, flag? Love, freedom. And on top of that, making money, getting shit done, having a fun life. Anyway, let's dive back in. Change for yourself, not others. Look, if you go and try to change who you are because you're afraid that if you don't, this person's going to leave or that person's not going to want to be with you or this relationship's not going to work out, you're creating yourself anew and differently from fear. It ain't going to stick. It's going to suck because it's going to be contrary to what your heart wants. It's also not going to work very well because of those reasons. You can't be very effective in it. Even if you change and it functions on the outside, there'll be resentment inside you. And also, you're just living a life that's a lie, right? You're, live, you're actually creating a life that's the expression of something that's not true for you. Shit, man. You know how many people do that and like end up jumping out windows? Why would you do that? Any t action you take that's contrary to what's true for you builds structures and life around you that's actually a prison, it's an expression of the opposite of what you want in your world and what's in your what's true for you in your heart. Now, having said that, one of my favorite practices is to create myself and to change myself to be a person that works better in a relationship. Um, I have a document that I just read through this morning with one of my coaches, who I am for you, my client. Let's call my client Sam, who I am for Sam. I'm actually consciously, intentionally changing myself as a coach for Sam so that I can be the best possible coach that I can for Sam. So what do you, th I thought this was about not changing for others, but changing for yourself. Yeah, it's actually also for me. So how does that work? How does that work authentically? Not like bullshit where I'm just, oh yeah, it's for me, but it's really for them, but it's not. How do, how do I actually, how does it actually be for me? The first thing is to take a stand. Take a stand, I'm thinking Ferris Bueller's day off. Take a stand that like the only thing that matters in this life is that I'm true to me and who I am. I'm not going to do anything for anybody else. And paradoxically, it is the willingness to say, fuck you, everybody. There's not a thing in this world that I'm doing for anybody but myself that has me be able to relax. And it's like, oh, I don't have to be different for you or for her or for him. I can just be me. Yeah, you can. You know, you weren't born into this world with any onus on you. You don't have responsibility to do anything, to be anything. There's no fucking law in the universe that says you have to be anything for anybody. So you can relax. You can just be you. You're f you are free. You are innocent. And you are free. And guess what? In that innocence and in that freedom, you actually have the power and the choice to be anything that you want. So what would you love? Who would you love to be? And the first thing that I think about when I start considering that is like, well, what do I want in my life? Well, I want great relationships. Okay. I want a great relationship with my wife, as I point into there. She's actually just begun labor, interestingly enough. There's nothing that I can do right now. Our baby will be born in the next 24 hours. So I'm going to make some videos. But anyway, I'd love to be a great husband for my wife because I'd love a great, because I'd love a great relationship. Well, what would that look like? Well, I guess I could ask her about that. And there's some things that she would like that aren't my nature and in my habit. Wait, does that mean I have to change who I am? Uh, no, I don't have to. And that's an important piece. I don't have to change who I am, but changing who I am from a place of have to in order to make it work because I'm afraid if it doesn't is different than changing who I am into something from a place of total freedom because I can see that that would be functional in giving me what I desire. It's the difference between wanting to from an open, loving heart, from my own desire that was born through the freedom of contemplating what is it that I'd love in my life versus like, oh, I have to, I don't have any choice. 
The funny thing is, oftentimes, when I remember that I don't have to become anything for anybody, I can just be me and change in the ways that I would love to, oftentimes I end up circling around back to the same thing that person wanted in the first place. But I promise you, it makes a difference to move towards changing yourself into something as an acquiescence of your own truth and power, to move towards to try to be something for somebody because of fear of what I might lose if I'm not that, is entirely different than choosing to become that from my own desire, from my own freedom, from my own knowing that I'm okay without it. And it might not be that thing. I might decide I don't have to change to be anything for that person. And you know what? Boop! Get that person out. Done with that person in my life. That may be the case too. Uh, and that's why the first step is say, I'm not going to change for others. No way. I'm changing for me. What do, was, what do I want? I might want something with another. And I might see the way that that person dances. You know what? If I start taking a step forward at that point in time when they step back, that might work better for us. And so all of a sudden, that's for me. I'm changing my, for myself with them from love, from an open heart, from my desire. So change for yourself, not others, is really about seeing what would work. Remembering, first of all, number one, first step, I don't have to change. I don't owe anybody anything. If I do anything as a way of you know, suppressing my truth, it's going to suck. From the ground of that, what would I love? That's a step two. What would I love? What would I want? And if there's another person involved in that, what would I love with them? Okay, cool. Now I'm connected to what I would love with that person. What might make that dance beautiful? And then I start seeing possibilities. And it's like, well, how could I change to make that dance beautiful? Even if I end up at the same change, now it's coming from a place that's me and my heart. It's actually for me, myself, not for them. See, it's not about the change. It's about why you're changing. Who are you changing for? Change for yourself, not others. Even if that means the change that you make in yourself creates a more beautiful dance with others, it can be for you, not for them. And the funny thing is, we give our greatest gifts in the world when we put ourselves first. The moment we love ourselves, the moment that is actually primary, we can't not contribute. And not only can we not only not contribute, but we can't not contribute our greatest gifts. If this sounds paradoxical, that's because it is. is. If it sounds contradictory, that's because you're not seeing the paradox in it. Dichotomies dissolve when you can hold both things as true. Uh, I would love to help you see more paradoxically in life to enable you to, to, to get more of the power and the freedom that comes from holding these things that seem to be competing as an actual dance. If you'd like that too, subscribe, comment, ask me questions, send me a DM, sign up for my Creating Insights by email. We take these long ass videos. I wish I could do them shorter, but they are what they are. And we consolidate them into really short emails. And I send them to you a couple times a week. If you want those, get signed up on my website. But most of all, I'm just so happy you're here and listening. That guy's happy to be driving fast. I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.